is was going to be one of the leading feel-good Yankee victories of the season. And then it wasn't. But ultimately it was. But just barely as the Yankees saw their hearts ripped out, then reinserted and almost torn out again. Dylan Beatances, summoned to protect a 7-4 lead in the ninth, walked three, tossed in a wild pitch and was slapped for a couple of RBI hits that didn't leave the infield. Beatons is left with the bases loaded and one out so Blake Parker etched his name into Yankees late season lore. But it wasn't easy, not by a long shot. Parker slipped a third strike past Kevin Pillar and then got Justin Smoke to fly to the wall in left where Brett Gardner made the catch, relax, the Yankees had a good three inches to spare, to preserve an emotional roller coaster 7-6 triumph over the Blue Jays to stay within three and a half games of the American League wild card chase playoff chase Tuesday at Yankee Stadium. The Yankees now trail first place Toronto by four superscript 1-2 games in the All East. The decisive rally came in the eighth. Didi Gregorius tripled in the tying run at 4-4 and then scored on a sacrifice fly by Stalin Castro. Chase Headley added a two-run homer as the Yankees went from losers to winners to losers then back to winners. Late in the season with a playoff chase alive. Two struggling rookies delivered huge hits that appeared to pave the way for a must have Yankee win. Tyler Austin, celebrating his 25th birthday in a big way, belted a two run homer, his first since his big league debut, following an Aaron Judge single in the seventh, and the Yankees led 3 2. And then it all came apart, unraveled, however you want to put it. With two out in the eighth, Adam Warren, who pitched effectively, left after surrendering a single to Troy Tulowitzki. Toronto then took it out on rookies Tommy Lane and Ben Heller for a walk, a two-run double by Kevin Piller and another walk for a 4-3 lead before Chase and Shreve 2-1, got the innings final out dot and the win. But, of course, that victory needed dramatics against Toronto losing reliever Jason Grilly, 4-3, and they had to survive the ninth. Beatances walked two, Wild pitched them along and then Edwin Incarnation, who had launched his 37th homer, a solo shot, in the first, singled home one run. Another walk loaded the bases before Melvin Upton Jr. beat Beatances to the base for an RBI single. That brought in Parker. Jacoby Ellsbury started the Yankees winning assault in the eighth with the walk. One out later, Gregorius tripled over Pillar's head in center to tie the game, 4-4. Castro then lifted a flight to right deep enough to score Gregorius. Brian McCann, who earlier homered, walked and scored on Headley's 13th homer, a blast to right. Austin, who earned another chance in the lineup with a solid game Monday, belted an 0-1 fastball off Aaron Sanchez the opposite way to right after the judge single in the seventh. Austin and Judge both broken with a bang, smashing back-to-back -back homers in their first MLB at bats August 13. But then hard times set in. Before Monday, Austin hit a dreadful .121 over 11 games. Judge struck out for the 36th time in 67 at bats before his single. With the games irrevocably slipping away from the calendar, the Yankees say they focus only on the task at hand today. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery and all that. The brass heard questions about how many wins will be needed. Basically, they're looking for one, unless they should play a doubleheader. Dot. I don't worry about that. I just worry about winning today, general manager Brian Cashman said beforehand. All we can control is what's in front of us today and then watch the scoreboard. The scoreboard had some disheartening early numbers involving Houston and Baltimore, two of the teams ahead of the Yankees in the wild card hunt. There are some clubs in front of us, Cashman said. We have a lot to try to win and they're trying not to lose. That's a big difference. Rookie Luis Sessa pitched into the sixth inning for the Yanks in his fourth major league start. Sesso was slapped around in the top of the fifth for three singles by the Blue Jays, including Jose Bautista's bat-shattering RBI single to left. 
it could have been worse except for a terrific diving stop, recover and throw from third by Headley against reigning Al MVP Josh Donaldson. Bortista's hit snap to 1-1 not that arrived courtesy of two solo homers. McCann, again serving as the DH with his catching duties cut back by the arrival of Gary Sanchez, drove a 2-1 change-up from Sanchez high and into the second deck in right. It was McCann's 17th bomb of the season. Encarnation turned a 2-1, two-out first inning fastball from Sessa into a frightening line drive that likely would have found its way to Connecticut had not the second deck in left got in the way. That gave Toronto the early 1-0 lead, lead.